You know the thing that I did about Jacob, like yesterday, and it got like awesome feedback? Well, I'm back. And I'm gonna be watching this guy, he's even worse than Jacob. I think he's called, I believe he's on Musical.ly also, these Musical.ly fools. He's called Mark Thomas, so let's just get into his video. Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Mark Thomas, or known as Does Mark. If you don't know me, I hope you do enjoy this video. And if you can't tell by the title up there, I'm if you can't tell by the title up there, I'm you dumb. You dumber than Jacob Satorius. The title is down there, not up there. What is, what are you, what? I'm going to be telling you guys a story on how I almost got arrested and fined. So I was live broadcasting on this new app, and there was only like 100 people watching because you couldn't get that many viewers because it Because no one watches your live streams. Yeah. It caps out to where you can't get any more viewers. It's like a barrier. So, I was like, if I get this amount of likes, I will leak my number because why not? It's a new app. So, I got that amount of likes. I leaked my number, what I thought was my number. I wasn't really getting any calls or texts. It was really weird because usually when I leak my number, even in front of that little less people, it's like I get so many calls and texts. So, the next day, I get an email from this attorney. Or I came to see you because you have a lip syncing condition. Lip syncing itis ish. Like a lawyer or whatever. So he was like, you leaked my client's number. If you don't get the calls stopped by this time, blah, 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 you need to give this email to your parents or state troopers will come to your house. So I was like, nah, this has got to be a joke because I get so many emails like, oh yeah, my dad has like $8 billion in his name. Do you want it? Give me your credit card information and I give it to you. Great. But Did you see that? When he just went great, that was like the second worst thing I ever heard or saw. But in reality, that sounds too good to be true. So that day, I took a major L. And out of the coincidence, I leaked a police officer's number and his attorney was emailing me. So later on that day, in the afternoon, two state troopers come to my door. So my mom comes up in my room and she's like, um, the state police are here. I was like... It was at this moment Jackson knew. He fucked up. You know what else you messed up? You messed up your whole career. Um, I know what this is about. Great. It wasn't fake. I was being dumb. So, there were two police officers. The one, I don't know why, he kept spinning in my yard and like my patio, blah, blah, blah. And the other one was just asking me questions like, how did this happen? I was like, well, I was broadcasting on the app. It didn't have that many people watching because it caps out. And I got this new number, and I thought it was my number I wanted to leak because why not? Like, it wasn't that many people. What, what's the worst that could happen? So I told him that I leaked the wrong number, and he's like, well, I've known this guy for like eight years. Blah, blah, blah. You need to get people to stop calling it, or he will. Officer, even brain, bro? The, his fans are like stupid fangirls, and they're never gonna give up that number. Is that officer like dumb or something? Press charges against you. I was like, oh, and I was like, okay, but this is a huge mix up. So I went to Florida later on the, in the next couple days. I got a random text when I was heading home on my plane. It said, hey, boo, you leaked my dad's number, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. She was being really sarcastic. So pretty much what happened was. The cop's daughter got my number somehow. Actually, it's illegal for a police officer to give out information from an investigation. So he's a lip syncer and a lawyer? Wow, Mark. Got a lot of things going in there. Which is none of my business. I don't know how she got my number, but she then on started harassing me. She was like, you have no fans. You're not famous. You don't. You got big because you move your lips and move your phone around on this app called Musically. I was like, Bleh, I like making a huge difference on the internet. And she just kept like saying some rude stuff to me. I honestly. Technically, that girl was me. You're gonna figure that out. She felt offended because she doesn't understand. Like, this is my life. This is. I worked hard for all this. You didn't. Second of all. She's right. Moving your phone like this and the is not a talent. Okay, I I can't do it. 
but it's still not a talent. Let's be real. I love making people smile, blah, blah, blah. Then the next day, I go into the police station, and the guy was like, you need to post on all your social medias that to stop calling. So in my head, I was like, um, but if I post about it when there wasn't that many people watching on them, isn't it going to make the situation worse? And is he going to get more calls because the numbers are going to get leaked even more? He said, I need to post on Instagram, YouTube, so I can take this as my chance. If you guys know the number, don't call it. There you go. It's done. He decided not to press charges because they thought I did it all on purpose. Why would I leak a police officer's number on purpose? Like, I'm not that stupid. I may be stupid, but I'm not that stupid. If you did like this video, please do subscribe and like. And I'll see you in the next video. Bro fist. Psych.